Everybody, I have some good news. It looks like none of you has to leave. Really? That's great! How is that great? I have found a solution to our financial situation, and just in the nick of time, because it's gotten to the point where I can't even afford shirts. Oh! There is, however, some bad news. The money has come from an anonymous investor who contacted my accountant. It was a last resort, but I had to sell the company. But this is your company. You built it up from nothing. It's called Z Tech. It is not Z Tech anymore. Now it is A Tech. <laughs> We're trying to figure out who the anonymous investor is. It's me. You think you can beat me at the business, at karaoke, at break dancing. <laughs> but who's laughing now? <laughs> I am. You're terrible at break dancing. What's going to happen to our school? I intend to keep the school open, but I would make some changes to the corporate structure. You're going to fire people? Yes, but don't worry. The decision will be made in the fairest possible way. <laughs> How is this fair? <laughs> Ow! Come on, Grundy! Let's go, Grundy! <laughs> keep our toxic waste, or as some people call them, children. <laughs> Next, let me show you my resume. I folded it into an origami frog, not because I desperately need a job in management, but because I love all things Japanese. <laughs> all things. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Very impressive resume. I'm hiring you as my new vice president of finance and origami. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. All you have to do is sign this contract, which I folded into an origami dragon. <laughs> dragon sound, dragon sound, dragon sound. Did I hear a dragon? These rooms are beautiful. The school has a lavish suite, fine dining, a world-class spa. How much is the tuition? Well, nothing. Mr. Grundy cared more about nurturing our talents than making money. Wah! <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, then you've obviously never spoken to Fletcher. <laughs> From now on, you all will be paying for the privilege of going to school at the H Tech. Well, how are we supposed to afford that? By working in my new hotel. What new hotel? <laughs> This one. <laughs> this is brilliant, especially the way you're using the kids to get free labor. Exactly. The obnoxious know-it-all is the concierge. Where can you find a restaurant? Well, the earliest restaurants were called Thermopolia, L-shaped food counters found in ancient Rome. There were small holes in the counter in which jars... There is the hoagie shop in the corner. <laughs> the girl, inexplicably dating Fletcher, works the front desk. You want a wake-up call? Here's a wake-up call. If we don't get off fossil fuels, this planet is doomed! Enjoy your stay. And because he is shaped like a bell, the bellboy. <laughs> yes, Mr. Hashimoto, sir. Mr. Grundy? You're a bellboy? If I didn't take this job, Hashimoto was going to close the school. And for the record, I'm not shaped like a bell. I'm shaped like a bell pepper. <laughs> Mr. Hashimoto, can we please discuss this? No, I don't like you. Why? Because I beat you at karaoke. You didn't just beat him, you mopped the floor with him! And now I will mop the floor with her! You know that's just an expression. Okay, this area is done. I need the wet floor sign. Coming! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.